true freshman. Third down and four. An area in which the BYU defense has flourished so far this year. Ponder steps out from the pocket. With good wheels, he dives across the 30, and he will move the chains for Florida State. Good job by the defense at BYU holding in their, in, in their spots and making sure that Ponder didn't have anywhere to go. And now we see why Ponder's so dangerous with the ball in his hands. The kid can flat out run if he has to. Last year, Glenn, he became the first FSU quarterback to rush for more than 400 yards since Charlie Ward did that in the early 90s. Quickly, they snap it out there for Lewis Givens. Givens is tracked down by Colby Clawson. All the linebackers for BYU can close on you. They can. They're all good guys, all motor guys, as you as we talked about earlier. You know what they did there, though? D BYU rolled away from boundary and into field. Florida State, Ponder, saw that, whip the quick pass out on a smoke and get yourself seven, eight yards. And picked up eight on the play in the process, bringing up a second and short. Look, Jimbo Fisher said they had to win first down. Very important, something they hadn't done in the first two weeks. Decibel level rising early here in Provo. Jones finessed his way to the 45. Undercut by Craig Bills, who came up from the secondary. And Ty Jones says this year he wants to be one of the leaders of FSU's ground pounders. <laughs> well. He's getting his opportunity. We'll see how he does. Working at this altitude, see if he uh, bogs down a little bit. Friends and family settling in for a good one between BYU and FSU. The opening drive of the day with college football on versus in HD. Ponder out of the gun, again releases it quickly. Fortson dancing out of one tackle. But there's that swarm technique for BYU. They flood to the football. Logan and Rich were there to combine on the tackle. Two things that work here. First off, you smoke out to Fortson. Why? He's a big guy, a guy that is sturdy enough to miss, make people miss and run through tackles. But then you got to give credit, of course, to Logan and the deep BYU defense wrapping up, let, giving him his guys a chance to get in there and make a hit. Brian Logan's been playing with a pretty beat up hand. Suffered an injury during camp, but he says he's he's used to that. He had a similar injury in junior college a year ago. Here comes the reverse to Gibbons, and he's got some running room. Makes a man miss in the open field, then lost his balance as Logan tried to turn him back to the inside. It's going to be an interesting day for Logan and Bradley, the corners, trying to force things to the inside. Well, it is, and you can't lose contain. Watch BYU defense coming back the backside. Gets a block from Christian Ponder. Givens has got himself some room. Nice job out there. Now, be careful. Russell Tillavail uh, just went limping off the field, so they bring in Romney Fuga now, looks like, at the nose guard. They are deep at that position, yes, the nose are. guard spot. And Bronco Mendenhall has been coaching that position uh, during the weeks. He's given up the reins in terms of the play calling on the defensive side. On the toss, Thomas tiptoes the sideline, creeping inside the BYU 40. Jermaine Thomas has outstanding speed. Bobby Bowden on occasions, Glenn, will liken him to Adrian Peterson. He likes the way he runs. Well, he said, what did they tell us? They want the running backs to run reckless. They want guys to run through. They feel like they were, they were dancing a little bit too much. They want reckless running from the running backs. A sustained drive for Florida State to get things going today against seventh-ranked BYU. Ponder on a short drop. Flushed out. Fires this one complete. And there's plenty of running room. Inside the 15. Brandon Bradley hogs tie Rod Owens. Owens, who's very good and very precise in running his routes and a former track guy. He's tough to catch. What they wanted here is they wanted Porowski on the on the sail route. Didn't get it. And so what happens? They look, everybody keeps moving. Owens does a good job firing the area to sit down in and allowing Christian Ponder to find him. And then it's about speed. Florida State wants to get the hands in the, uh, the ball in the hands of their playmakers and just let the speed take over. This has to be music to their ears, though, this first drive. After a subpar performance against Jacksonville State last week, they won in the waning stages of the fourth quarter. They look very effective today. Thomas slashing inside the five. That offensive line for Florida State is young and very good. Well, everything you talk about, and I was talking with Coach Trick at the offensive line coach earlier today, and, and he just said, you know, we're young, but what we do well is we block angles and we're scrappy, tough.